Hey guys. hey guys, welcome back to Big Cosplay X. Today we're doing a little bit of a different video. We are going to be, if I can escape, yeah, okay, there we go. We are going to be, I'll be showing you how I make templates and uh, then how I scale them to print. Excuse the noise in the background. So this uh, process is going to be a little different from what it usually would be. Uh, usually I would take a picture of just just the templates so kind of like that and then I would throw it into a program we call in I call inks I don't call it it's named inkscape so I throw it in there and then we'll go over the process of what I do that will be the same but uh, a subscriber, I'm hoping you're a subscriber, by the name of Lil Busy requested the flash, the folding flash cowl template. So this, the one where it, you know, fold, folds in on itself. This one, so. <laughs> Still holding together, so probably my uh, best one. But, so. I don't actually have the templates still. I've I've thrown them away. So the original duct tape templates do not are not in my possession. They are in the landfill probably. So what I had to do, go through my own video, take screenshots of every time I put a piece against a cutting board or my cutting mat. And yeah. So I only got 3 pieces. Uh, and they're the only three I actually needed. So the pieces that I got, and I'll say this again, but it's this, uh, the side piece, this forehead piece, and then this back plate here. So those are all the pieces that I got. I had to recreate the rest of them. But uh, I'll be showing you how I, uh, me pretty much going through the rest of this process. So I hope you enjoy, and uh, thanks to Lil Busy again, these templates will be up on my website. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I've taken the screenshots, as many as I can, from my own video to get the templates that I want. I don't need these anymore. <laughs> but now I've got to take what I have and digitally remake it for a template for you guys. So I'm gonna also be showing you how I do that, and I'm by no means an expert on such a thing, but I'm going to give it my best shot of kind of explaining it, uh, but I'll mostly just be showing you how to do it. So I've got my images kind of, you can't see it, but I've, I've got them uh, downloaded to my iPad, I mean my computer, but I am missing, so the templates that I have that I can completely trace is pretty much this front piece here. So the top and then the sides uh, and then this piece so I'm gonna have to recreate this whole like neck brace thing um, <clears throat> kind of from scratch because I don't actually show how to make it at all and then for this piece um, I can't, you kinda have to make it on your own because chins are different for everybody so <clears throat> There's that, but I will be showing you how to use this. Oh, look at that fancy! But uh, so this is Inkscape, and so right now what I'm doing is changing uh, the actual canvas here. I just I'm calling it a canvas, but so we want it in inches because the uh, cutting mat that I was using was in inches, so 18 by 12. So that is going to give us the closest thing. So here, yeah. So this is Inkscape, and Inkscape is actually pretty cool. Um, I u I've been using it for to recreate all of mine, my uh, templates. So here is the photo, 
here's one of the photos so this is the nose piece or the very like the forehead part so we're gonna turn down the opacity down here so we're just gonna go to like 75 and turn okay so you can kind of see the outline here so control and kind of drag it down make it a little smaller uh, kind of line it up in the corner here and so it's just gonna be very rough with the sizing here because I can't get it perfect since it's an image and I guess it's a little tilted that is one layer so we want to add, add another layer so layer two add. so layer one turn that off is image layer two is going to be a, another image I know, thrilling. So here we are again. Turn this down. Uh, zoom out. Control. Make sure to hit control. Oh, okay, yeah, we can also match. We should turn off. <laughs> turn off that layer. Get a better look at it. Okay, zoom out. Actually, it's pretty lined up so we'll just kind of keep it there this isn't so this is usually how I start is by trying to get it uh, sized right we're gonna add uh, one last layer but with this one we are going to name lines because we're gonna start actually doing some lines so I'll walk you through this shape since it's the most complicated I've selected this tool over here uh, I guess it's for curves <laughs> so basically what you want to what you're gonna want to do just kinda go to the straight points or the corners so you don't need to make it uh, completely accurate yet you actually want as little lines as possible or as uh, points as possible so if you want to get something like that we're actually going to turn down the opacity of this layer a little bit more nope oh gosh yeah so we're going to turn that down to like 60 okay so back to our layer lines so lines and then this tool up here so this is going to help us in our mission so we could actually zoom in scroll down there are people outside talking kind of do this quick so we're just gonna want to kind of bend it so I'm also gonna grab uh, the mask over here for reference to help out just kind of I don't know I don't have that much space in my desk <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of put it here so I did put in a little curve along the eye so we're gonna adjust that like that uh, another one up here um, definitely one right here um, and I'll try and I'll be also editing this to make it actually fit much better on on uh, for you guys than it did for me so we'll give this one a little, nice little curve probably bring that out a little bit so and then once we finish this step of the process we can also use this for uh, the rest of it alright so this is going to be the interesting part I'm gonna grab it in certain areas to get actually pretty close uh, right off the bat so just gonna keep playing with it till we get it pretty close So, dragging it up. So, we're also going to double click here, which gives it another point, which then aids us in our mission. So, that's actually not that bad. Um, we'll move, we'll curve that up a little bit. And then we can turn this layer off.
And that is how you do templates, basically. So I'm going to stop talking and kind of uh, go off. Okay, so I've uh, I've made my templates. I've uh, recreated this piece completely right here. So uh, same thing with this one. So I measure. I actually measured uh, sides and all that stuff. So yeah. So this one will prob would probably take some modification, just because it's an older template of mine, and it probably won't fit as well especially in the nose region because you can kind of see here it's really stubby but that's just for this one in particular but that's not what we're here for so once we have finished this we would just export um, yeah, I guess you can do PNG but is there a way that I can no okay so we'll just export the PNG um, over here I need to find a place to actually put it because where's the pattern I'm sorry I'm a little tired now for some reason um yeah export custom uh, also, I've changed the uh, the actual size of the canvas area. So this is now uh, the size of two 
uh, standard pieces of printer paper, so eight and a half by eleven. So that's two of those put together. And you'll see why you need to do that in a little bit. But yeah, okay. So we will rename that. <sighs> Wake up. Um, folding flash. So once you, so once you download my file from my website, which I will have it, which is where it will be posted, you will go here and we will. Ed, you want to edit it so that way you get into a MS Paint. We know we love it. So let's zoom out a little bit. This is from Windows specifically. If you don't have Windows, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> there you go focus so we want to go page setup we want it to fit by want it to go portrait centering is horizontal we want to reduce this as much so I'm not going to actually print this but I'm just showing you how so we want these to be pretty much as close as possible to zero so pretty much just yeah that's gonna be the small so those are the margins on the sides not exactly centered <laughs> but we also want it to fit to one by two or two two by two by one yeah they, okay so you want it two by one now we've got one half there and one half here and that's all you want all you need to do so also, if you need to change scale, uh, just make it bigger. <laughs> I don't know, but this should be good enough. This should be close enough to the point where you can trace on the outside edges of it and cut there. So, yeah. And of course, if you know how to rescale things, it should be easier for you. But yeah. I should really start putting the uh, page, it, how many pages it should fit on. So I will start to do that for you guys. But yeah, that's basically all, all it is in making templates and scaling them correctly. So yeah, it's very simple. Uh, just a couple tools. And Inkscape is free, so so is MS Paint. With uh, yeah, can you tell? I got tired. <laughs> So that's it. Uh, these will be linked below. And this video will come out much later than it's supposed to. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, also, thanks to that one person who really wanted these templates. Here you go, bud.